Hold on a sec. It's just my daughter calling for me. Ah? Uh, ah? What do you want? Mm. Okay, the next time you need to speak English, right? Okay, so um, if you guys uh, watched my um, floss tube number 16, You all know that I spin the wheel and I got uh, the choice to stitch Midnight Watcher and it is by Julie Bell or Julie Vallejo. Um, and it is a heaven earth design. Um, yeah, so I'm stitching it on 25 count, the magic guide, I think it's called, and I'm stitching it one over one full cross, and I have a floss cards, I have floss cards here. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna stitch this color here and the needle minder it's a Harry Potter needle minder and I've ordered it from Etsy so I'm sitting out in my living room uh, I want to get used to doing that and not being you know a little bit embarrassed about um, speaking to myself or to you um, and in English when my husband and daughter is uh, listening so but my husband is out on a photo shoot and my daughter is in her room uh, she's gonna do some gaming I think so as you can see um, I had already stitched a page earlier like years ago so I was supposed to, to stitch a little bit more on my marabilia yesterday when I pulled uh, the wheel chose this one for me uh, but I was so excited so I actually started stitching it right away in the evening so I've stitched this part here um, and I'm trying to get rid of all the page um, lines, I guess. So, and I'm using my pattern keeper. So I'm looking at the pattern. Which I have to my left. So let's see. I have that one there, so I think it's two between here, like that. And I'm stitching with the color 648. Sunday the 19th of July. It's the day before I go back to work. So I haven't had a lot of sleep today or this night because my thoughts has just been looping around in my head. So I parked it and my arm is in the way. I'm sorry. Then we'll stitch with the um, four, five, two, and it's also already part. Or 
we're stitching two down here. So I got in contact with um, the winner of my, um, we're not supposed to say giveaway, but it was like a giveaway, my celebration of my 500 subscribers. And I've been in contact with her and she has chosen the pattern she wanted. She made a great choice. Um, chose one of her favorite designers um, or artists, Amy Stewart. Um, so I've already sent that pattern over to her. So yeah, it was a lot of, that was actually a lot of fun to, to uh, give that, make that giveaway. I don't enter all kinds of giveaways uh, on floss tube. I just enter the ones that, you know, I feel like, oh yeah, I could really like want to stitch that one. So, and I've been lucky. I've, I've won some. I'm looking forward to do some more more of those uh, maybe like more like random acts of kindness um, so we'll see in the future I'm still a very very still a very small channel so let's see we're jumping up to one two and we're doing the end of my thread is getting tiny I don't know if you can see that but I can't stitch with those short threads and now I don't want to uh, flip my frame over all the time so I will just um, pull up the end of the thread like this <clears throat> another and the next color is 950 which was also parked four threads here and I should stitch over here so that doesn't make any sense maybe I've done some wrong here so if I should start here then 
that? Oh yeah. That's the mistake. I need to frog that. Uh, when I do mistakes on heaven and earths, I usually, well, usually don't fr frog. It depends. It depends on where the mistake is. Like here, it's in her skin and in on in on anyway um, if i can fix it quite easy i don't think you would really notice if i switch those two stitches but if i could you know if i can s fix that easily easily then i act i frog it but if it would have been like in the background I wouldn't bother. So where did I go next? Yeah. I hope I'm pulling the right color. <laughs> oh. wasn't a lot of fun starting with a frog. Hey, that was the wrong color. That was not the right color. What am I doing? Okay. It must be this one, right? It's not this hard to park, I swear. It just looks... I should have just frogged. keeper then this would be a lot easier and I think I've been pulling the wrong color yep we should just um this is the color. Yeah. We should just restitch it. No problem. What won't we do for a single stitch? So tell me who would go through the trouble? and frog it.
this is how it is to stitch. This is how long time it takes. happening here it's like there is oh I've stitched that there okay okay let's give this another try shall we Still that so there is where I should put that color one and two and then I should put it there but there I have something else part okay so I need to move that part thread this this part thread is part in the wrong let's grab another needle and just repark it Let's do six, four, eight once again. So there is one, and then is one. it. All right, so now that one is fixed. Um, now I need to figure out which color that was. It must have been the, the square. Didn't I say 452? I don't remember. Four, five, two. And since I'm not sure, I can take my floss card here and compare the colors. I do that sometimes when I don't know, and they look the same. So it's the square. Four, five, two. And uh, I frogged that one, so I need to go down here because I'm not supposed to stitch it there. I have that one there, and I need to stitch 
two under. That looks correct. Oh, the rain is pouring outside today. But it's a bit, um, how do you say, call that, um, when it is it's still hot, you know, sticky. Feels like this thread is not going to be enough for this. Let's see. One. Two. Thread felt quite um mm, words. I don't know. I'm so bad at English sometimes. Um, like um, thin, fragile, uh, worn out. So we'll just kind of end it here. And I will end it with uh, some kind of pin stitch. I think. Is the color 950 like so and then I need to move my pattern a little bit so let's go here three up Yeah, so I had a very happy surprise uh, this morning when I woke up, and uh, Becca, um, who's also from Sweden, uh, had replied to uh, my floss tube, uh, where I actually asked 
if she was going to the Soul Stitch Retreat we're gonna have in Sweden and she actually is it's so freaking awesome I mean can the world be any smaller I mean here's two women who loves cross-stitching and we're on floss tube on YouTube and we're kind of narrowing it down to actually going to the same place at the same time <laughs> so it's not like yeah we don't know each other uh, but somehow it's, it feels really really awesome um, so I hope that the retreat is really gonna happen uh, as I said, I, I think it is uh, at the end of September. Um, and, uh, well, you never know if we have still restrictions in Sweden. Uh, we do, but I don't know how it looks like at the moment because I decided when I went on vacation, I decided to turn off everything, you know. Because, uh, yeah, I work at the hospital and we had this information and numbers and everything on a daily basis. Uh, so it, it gets a bit overwhelming. Um, okay, so I need to stitch one more. So yeah, Becca, it's going to be really awesome meeting you. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so I'm going to park my thread here. And these threads, they're, I, I think they're way too long. Would cut them shorter but yeah uh, so I think I would like to stitch that one it's a little Sun and it's 819 And another Swedish stitcher who commented on my video, uh, her name was Cat with a K something. Oh, she told me she had found the sulky threads at a Swedish site, so that's cool. I'm gonna check that out. Uh, but she actually asked me where I had found um, the 25 uh, count uh, EC grid. Is count I call it is count um, and I haven't I bought it uh, from crafty kitten and I use also lakeside needlecraft but as she said uh, brexit is getting closer and that means that <laughs> oh you know I have kind of forgotten about it by you know purpose because I don't like our mail office or post office uh, and uh, yeah she's right when Brexit happens uh, we are going to pay for those packages as well of course <sighs> yeah so um, but I actually checked out uh, and reply to her and if any other Swedish um, or maybe other European uh, stitchers are watching uh, that Italian store the Casa Casa Senina uh, actually has the 25 count easy grade easy grid um, so it's uh, you know it's fine 
and you know when I ordered I mean I just ordered some threads from them no I actually ordered some patterns as well but I mean it was a very small package but I got it delivered to my door and I didn't pay anything for it so I was very surprised um, let me park this thread so I have the two grays here this is what's so cool about uh, pattern keeper I can see that I have these two gray stitches so I don't have to start counting well I could count just to you know make sure that these stitches are actually correct you know positioned but when I look at my ease uh, pattern keeper I can easily see these stitches here and I know I'm looking for the two grays and I have them there and then this thread is going to be parked on the fifth to the right so one two three four and five Ta -da! so it's very nice to use pattern keeper I think I have mentioned it a couple of times in my <laughs> last two I'm sorry if I'm nagging about it like so what was I talking about yes but then I the store who are hosting that retreat here in Sweden uh, they're called now I'm gonna speak Swedish it's called Bordery Shoppen and I went to her store because I mean to me it seems like she knows I mean if she has a retreat I think she's quite aware of which kind of uh, cross stitching designs that are like in right now and I think she knows that she has customers I guess who stitch heaven and earth and these full coverage so I'm thinking I'm thinking that I've parked all these threads wrong yeah anyway um, and um, Anyway, I went to the to the store, the online store, and now I'm stitching with one five two. And she had the easy grid fabric, but in twenty eight count. And I wonder why she doesn't have it on twenty five count. Actually, and. At the same time, I'm thinking that maybe she would be open to maybe, you know, get a bolt of 25 count easy grid. Because I would much rather, especially, you know, with Brexit, it will, you know, before we are going to start paying extras for packages from England or the UK I wonder if you compare you know the prices to the fabric and the shipping and I mean I think it took like two days and I had my fabric from that Swedish store I ordered some plain white 32 count and I mean, if she would have 25 count these, these, you know, bigger pieces as well, you know, all kinds of sizes for the heaven on earth and Tilton and the paint crafts or whatever. Uh, I think I would, you know, much rather order from the Swedish store, of course, because I think most of us are like, when we order something, <laughs> we want the stuff now, you know. I try to be patient and I'm like oh it's okay I can wait a few months no problem but you know when I waited like three months I'm like, but I 
want a thing now. I want, I need it in my stash, you know? <laughs> yeah, but I think it could be an idea to um, <clears throat> uh, write her an email and ask, you know, you can always, I guess, as a customer, we should be able to kind of make a request or a wish that this is something I wish you had. Maybe you could um, consider uh, getting it into the store. I mean, you can always ask. You can. I mean, the worst thing that, that can happen is that you get a no. I cannot do that. So, let's see. I will continue with the threads that I've kind of misparked. And this is 3863. I think that's correct. Yeah. Maybe I should double check. Yeah. So, we'll continue. So, I'm stitching one and then up to the left. Now to read two. And how many am I stitching now? One, two, three, four, five. But I mean, I was like, maybe I'm searching the internet wrong. Um, I'm, I'm so used to using the English terms for, you know, fabric and threads and counts and everything. So in Swedish, we don't. I don't think we call it like a 40 count. They usually kind of write it as 16 threads per centimeter. And anyway, I was like, I wanted to get some 40 count linen fast so I wanted to order it in Sweden to start a sampler just to you know try out the higher count linen and everything but it's like impossible to get the Zweigart linens in 40 count I mean I had no problem finding the 32 count and I don't want white linen. I wanted these other nice colored linens. And that that is really frustrating that we obviously don't have that kind of demand in our country. So we always, I guess, have to order from other countries. And yeah, that makes me think like, well, maybe I should start my own company and start, you know, selling the stuff that I want and can't find in my country. But at the same time, if we don't have those, that demand, it's difficult to make a living out of it, right? So I'm just marking them off here. Mm -hmm. 
my pattern keeper is acting up sometimes and I think it has to do with like the storage on my um, I don't have an iPad I have this other kind of pad <laughs> um, so when I marked the symbols I've stitched on the pattern keeper I press you know the button for it to be marked off and then it doesn't mark them off it's so strange but should I end with a pin stitch here as well or is the thread too short just pull the end up here and what color which color was it that I was stitching with but I wanted to mark them off come on where did I let's try again yeah there we go um 38 63 I totally understand now why it's better to keep the threads on these uh, thread drops and stuff because I mean the threads are being all wrinkled up and it, it ends up uh, creating knots I don't like it it's annoying so now I'm starting with a loop which I saw a lady teach us on YouTube It's a lifesaver, I'm telling you. To God, it's holding it. Okay, so the next part of the thread is the 3064. Where's my needle? Here. But that was correct part, but let's do that anyway. This is quite nice and easy stitching to and jump up to that single stitch up here and then I had two here just filling in the gaps so satisfying coming in with 
the viewfinder. Like so. Let's check the battery. Oh my god, I've been on for 46 minutes. <laughs> so I will do these two threads and then I will call it a day. So the symbol is M. Thirty-seven ninety. Stitch all the way up. Yeah, I don't know why. I had written down virtual stitchers in my notes yesterday when I was doing my floss tube and I was staring at the list and I was like, yeah, so that was all. Uh, hello and goodbye. And once I turned off the camera, I was like, but why didn't I talk about the virtual stitchers? know how that group and interaction works but it seems like you're like I don't know connecting in some place and you kind of stitch and shed together live I don't know and on floss tube or YouTube their videos they were like having I don't know they were drawing subjects they were gonna stitch and a bingo and stuff and I had it sounds like a lot of fun but I couldn't figure out how it works but it felt like a little bit like what I'm kind of looking for like you want to be a part of the community sometimes you just want some company and um, I can't say that I'm very talkative when I stitch, but I like to listen to conversations. And yeah, sometimes I talk as well, of course, but um, it would be so cool if you can kind of, you know, join a group where you have stitchers from all over the world who just likes the same thing you like and who's just as crazy as I am in heaven and earth I know it might sound sometimes like I'm more into the mirrors or uh, the sampler stuff I'm kind of getting very curious to at whatever yeah um, but I'm a little bit that way that when I find out about something new I, I go all in but I mean 
I love my heaven and earths. I was trying to figure out when I found out about them, but I think it was like 2010, around that time. Okay, so let's focus here and mark the ones I stitched. And let's do the last color for today. And that's 3787. So I'm going to stitch four to the left. I think that was four, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm like on that edge where I'm like, if I don't get to start a sampler soon, I'm gonna go nuts. <laughs> I need to start it now and I, oh, I don't wanna wait any longer. And I was like, but just give me a 40 count and I will stitch with my DMCs. I don't care, it doesn't have to be silks, just, ah. You know, but I can't find any 40 count and I don't want to stitch. I have a nice sampler I bought from Etsy I, on a PDF and I have all the DMCs and I don't want to stitch it on 32 count because I could do that. But I wanted, you know, to get a feeling for the 40 count, count. Cause now I've tried 42 count, no 32 count. And that was no problem. So I want to try the next step. Yeah, patience, patience, patience. and another two sometimes I wonder if we should just have settled for the regular size on heaven and earth because they're so nice as they are <laughs> oh. yeah and someone told me to just use my old uh, once upon a time uh, pattern and edit the legend and just replace the 09 with the uh, 3371 and I thought that I've checked the new pattern and to me it seemed like there were other brown colors that had increased in amount of stitches so I wasn't sure if it was that easy to just replace the 09 with 3371 so I checked again let's see so I'm not stitching one so four and it actually seemed to be so that they have just replace the 09 with 3371 and if that's the case then that would be simple because there were a lot of 09 and I could just you know buy the amount of skeins of DMC that would be quite a lot but I could just buy them all and then I would know that that brown is fine. Um, but I was a little bit un unsure. So I have actually sent an email to Heaven and Earth asking them if they've just, you know, replaced the colors, you know, 
switched out with that color. Um, at the same time, I, I, I didn't want to bother them because I know they're so busy working all those charts, oh my god. But then at the same time, I just, I would really like to know. It would give me peace of mind, so I hope it's not a problem. Anyway, these stitch and chats, yeah, I always talk about sending live so I don't have to edit and upload. It's not the uploading that takes time, it's uh, and not the editing because I don't have to edit this, but it's the um, like uh, rendering the movie or the file and then exporting it. That takes hours. So I have a crappy computer, I, I know, but that's life and that's how I just have to deal with that at the moment because I don't feel like paying like 10 to 13 thousand Swedish kroners, that's like a thousand to a thirteen hundred uh, dollars, I guess, for a new computer at the moment. Um, Yeah, so if I would just send this live, then, you know, it would just be uploaded to YouTube right away. Uh, but I don't think I would be able to, I mean, chat with anyone. But maybe you can send live, but keeping it private, and then you can just release it as a public. I could do that. So... That is actually an hour of stitching. Yeah, we're getting close to an hour. But seriously, what I've stitched here is like a bunch of brown colors and kind of, yeah, peachy pink colors. And you get the rest of her rib on the side here that's so cool it's such a beautiful shard and as I said if it wasn't for the um, that wheel I wouldn't have picked this up like oh I need to stitch midnight watcher I don't like this dot here uh, so I'm actually getting some progress on this crust, which is amazing. Cool. So anyway, um, I will call it a day. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this and stuff, but uh, I just want to wish you all a nice week. And I will talk to you soon. I promise. Um, yeah. Take care, everyone. Bye.